Did you know that the mighty samurai were the only ones who managed to halt the unstoppable Mongol path of destruction and chaos? Picture this. The 13th century, a time when the Mongol Empire was a colossus striding across the globe. Under the iron fist of Kublai Khan, the Mongols had conquered vast territories from the steppes of Central Asia to the heart of modern-day Europe, yet they thirsted for more. Their sights turned eastward across the sea to the land of the rising sun, Japan. Japan at this time was under the rule of the Kamakura Shogunate. Despite internal divisions and finite resources, the shogunate had one formidable weapon, the samurai. These warriors weren't just skilled in combat, they embodied the spirit of Bushido, the way of the warrior, a code that demanded unyielding courage, unwavering loyalty, and an iron will. From 1266 to 1273, a diplomatic mission composed of Mongols and Koreans sent envoys to Japan six times to demand submission to the Mongols, but the Japanese ignored their demands and instead returned the heads of the envoys in a sack. As the Mongols prepared their assault, these samurai readied themselves, standing as the last bulwark against an overwhelming force, and so the stage was set for an epic confrontation. In 1274, the Mongols launched their first invasions of Japan and arrived at Tsushima Island. The Mongols continued to sweep through island of Kamino and Iki Island. The Mongol fleet, a terrifying spectacle of thousands of ships, appeared on the horizon, casting a shadow of impending doom over the land of the rising sun. The first few battles were in victory for the Mongols. According to the Japanese, the Mongols held down the surviving women and stabbed them through their palms with knives, stripped them naked and tied their corpses to the sides of their ships to demonstrate to other Japanese what their fate would be if they did not surrender. But Japan was not a nation to be easily intimidated. As the Mongols stepped onto the shores of Kyushu, they were met with the unwavering resolve of the samurai warriors. The samurai, vastly outnumbered, did not falter. Their courage was unyielding, their strategy astute. They fought with the mastery of their katanas and the strength of their honor, standing as the only barrier between their beloved homeland and the Mongol onslaught. Incredible tales of the samurai war skills spread like wildfire. One samurai named Sukesada cut down 25 enemy soldiers in individual combat. Despite the might of the Mongol horde, the samurai's relentless defense forced a retreat. The invaders, unaccustomed to such resistance, were driven back to their ships. For the first time in history, the Mongol war machine had been halted thanks to the indomitable spirit of the samurai. Not ones to back down easily, the Mongols returned seven years later, in 1281, more determined than ever. The stakes were higher, the enemy was fiercer, but the samurai spirit remained unbroken. With their homeland under threat for the second time, they rallied, ready to defend their land and their honor. The Mongols, armed with a larger fleet and an unshakable resolve, believed victory was inevitable. Little did they know they were about to face a resistance fiercer than anything they had encountered before. The samurai, steadfast in their duty, were prepared to fight to the last man. The battle raged on, yet despite being vastly outnumbered, the samurai held their ground. On the 15th of August, a great typhoon, known in Japanese as Kamikaze, struck the Mongol fleets at anchor from the west and devastated it. Sensing the oncoming typhoon, Korean and South Chinese mariners retreated and unsuccessfully docked in Imari Bay where they were destroyed by the storm. Thousands of soldiers were left drifting on pieces of wood or washed ashore. Against all odds, the Japanese defense was successful and their resolve unbroken. Once again, the samurai proved to be a formidable force, successfully defending their homeland against the Mongol invasion. The samurai's successful defense against the Mongols left a lasting legacy. This epic clash between two distinct warrior cultures marked a turning point in Japanese history, shaping its future for centuries to come. It was not just a military victory, but a triumph of the samurai's code of honor Bushido. Their unwavering courage and indomitable spirit became etched into the very fabric of Japanese culture. This victory against an overwhelming force inspired tales and legends that are still told to this day. They serve as a testament to the samurai's strategic brilliance, their mastery of the sword, and their steadfast resolve. Moreover, this event also had profound political implications. The Kamakura Shogunate's successful defense against the Mongols solidified its rule 
establishing a military government that would dominate Japan for the next seven centuries. The tale of the samurai's defense against the Mongols serves as a powerful reminder of their courage, strategy and indomitable spirit, a testament to the enduring power of the samurai legacy.